What is up, everybody? Power to the bus here. Gonna take a look at the remastered Black Ranger. So, I wasn't really all into these because the drop hips. Um, I feel like they're slowly getting loose on this one because I just had this literally one day. And as you can see, it's tight, no wobbles or anything. So, I'm surprised by that. Now, I would be saying drop hips is fine, you know, if it wasn't for the fact that check this out and I hate that they always display it like this with this huge gap look at the range see that range look at this w what was the point <laughs> like, literally if there's any kind of range here compared to this one it's not much um they should have just kept this so this bottom half plus this top half would be great Drop cut. so anyway my kids are up and they are being loud so yeah this i don't like this this don't look great at all this one has a greener tint to it this one's straight white but it's not that much better in person to me helmet obviously way better on this one um, yeah, man, should I add the coins? I might put the emblem on this one. I don't know. Bottom line, better figure and all. Just discontinue this. Please discontinue these drop hips. Um, otherwise, perfect figure. I guess we'll get the souls colored on the next remaster remastered. <laughs> but yeah, accessories and stuff is all sweet. I liked it. Um... Yeah, that is pretty much it. So this is my definitive Black Ranger, and this is the one that is going to be on the shelf. Unless I actually put the emblem on this one, which I have them made. I just haven't placed them on any of them yet. And yeah, get this one, guys. Hopefully, at a cheaper price. Blue and yellow has yet to reduce in price, so I'm not sure how well that's going to be for these. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Power to the bus out. See ya.